Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be showing you something from Vape Monster and this is called the Eternity X. And before I get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to Yosef at Steam Spot in Cairo. Uh, without him, this review would not be happening. So Yosef, thank you once again, my friend. Um, now, this is a, it's a borrow mod. It has an internal LiPo battery, which is 1600 milliamp hour, and it has a two amp fast charging. And now when you get it, it should turn up just like this, but obviously without my fingerprints and all the dirt that's on it because I have been using this. Uh, so we get a, a little polishing cloth like so. Uh, we're going to get uh, some stickers. Uh, you'll also find an authenticity card here as well. Hopefully that shows up okay. And in here we have a little tool. Um, this is obviously your borrow tool for um, undoing your flush nut, but we'll leave that in there just now. And here we have the mod itself. And I have just put fingerprints all over this. Uh, now, uh, just giving you a quick, quick swizz round this, as we say here. For those that are interested, this weighs 127 grams. It's uh, 57 millimeters in height. You're looking at 44 millimeters across and 32 millimeters across the top. Uh, now, before I do anything here, um, I've got to take this to bits because I've already had it in bits and uh, I need to take it to bits again to sort something that I messed up. Uh, if we take the door off here, and yes, you can see that the, the door is just like this. It's held on by these magnets and it only goes on one way. When I put this back together, I never noticed that I cleaned the backing of this and I got a bit of moisture on it. So it's actually, can you see that at the back there? That's actually in here. And anyway, I want to show you inside this because um, yeah, it's actually quite snazzy. This is a 40 watt mod. I should say, uh, and it's 7 to 40 watts, I think they are. The resistance range they are giving is 0 0.2 ohm, 0 0.3 to 2 ohm. So this is not, listen, you figured it out already. I mean, going on the holes that are in here, this is really more for your mouth to lung, tight restricted direct lung. Um, it's not meant for cloud chasing at all. It's not It's not designed for that. But um, let's take it to bits. Uh, it's held on by one, two, three, four up the top and four down the bottom. And uh, yeah, let's get tore into this. If you do buy one of these, uh, it's, a, it's a T5 that I'm going to use to take this to bits. But um, here we go. Oh, I'd better take the this out first. I'm actually using a two mil to undo the, the positive contact here. I think it might actually need a, something a bit smaller, but it's doing the job. Bottom plate's going to come off, and there we go. Uh, obviously, this isn't going to come off because there's uh, there is still a contact going on there. But this is this carbon fiber piece is what I need to take out, and uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of moisture at the back there. Just taking this out the way just now, so you can see the you know the carrier for the borrow tank. Uh, I could if I wanted to, you know, I can pull that out like that. Uh, and uh, I can also, since we're in here, it'd be rude not to do this, I can show you the LiPo as well, which is just held on by a connector there. And there's your board. It's very clean. It's very clean and tidy in here. I'll give them that. And did I say this is a 1600? I'm sure I did. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the board itself, I mean, I did notice in the Facebook group they said that this is, obviously this is Vape Monster is Korean, and this had been signed off by somebody as uh, some association or something saying it's uh, you know past a safety inspection or some something along those lines but uh, there we go and uh, that's the board so I can't tell you much about the board I don't know a lot about it as in it's I think it's their own board as far as I know but uh, all I really know is 70 40 watts and a 2 amp fast charge and uh, 1600 milliamp hour but uh, that, that's everything stripped down. You do have, obviously, you've got this USB-C on the side here. Um, you do have this maze. Make sure I get this the right way around. This is on the base plate here. This, this, it, now it actually says, um, 
on the spec I've got here, the material is aluminium 6061. That doesn't feel like aluminium. That's that's heavy. That feels like stainless steel. Uh, so I, I, I'm a little bit confused. Unless unless this is aluminium and this is the stainless steel. The only thing it doesn't actually say as I clean this to put everything back together properly is what that is. This uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, polycarbonate or PCTG. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's just the uh, polished polycarbonate. But um, anyway, once again, if you know differently. Put it in the comments. It really is an easy little mod to work on this, um, which I really do like. I like the construction. It's uh, it's it's always a good sign when there's it's been built in a way where you can take it to bits, and I'm sure you would be able to get a hold of these yourself down the line if uh, this crapped out on you. See if I can remember how this goes back in. That just went in there like that. That little carbon fiber sheet. This goes on like that, and that goes on like that. And this bit just goes back on like this. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I do panic sometimes because I know that there's a, a, a modder somewhere in the world that's watching this going, what is that man doing? That doesn't go there. That's in the wrong place. So I apologize if you're the guy that made this and you're watching this video wondering what I've just done. Uh, but once again, there we have the, the logo, the Borrow Project on the side there. And uh, here we have the board and uh, we have our up and down buttons. We have our branding here and it's it's a very, very simple device. Um, we just um, obviously got your battery indicator, your wattage and all the usual information. Uh, sorry about the refresh right there. The only other thing that I've really come across, I mean, apart from five clicks on, five clicks off, is you've got one, two, three clicks and you can lock the power which is just these two buttons here but you can still fire the device that's it that is really it for this uh, the throw on the button is it's soft it's not got like a, a deep throw in it it's not super super clicky or anything like that uh, but just notice the way that everything is offset here as well i'll talk about that more at the end I'm just going to throw in this tank just now. It's just one I'm using. Um, it's tight. It, it is tight in here. Um, but uh, most things do seem to fit. And uh, once again, this is just the midge inside uh, one of the Mord Corporation. This is the organic tank. Uh, but in she goes. And uh, we'll use the supplied contact. Another hybrid drip tip. And that's screwing in. Uh, I would say that... Um, I, I wouldn't class this as a, an adjustable adjustable pin down here. You could, if you had to, back it off a couple of turns, but um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go with this. Pop the door on, airflow at the bottom here. I'm going to use one of Bill's drip tips because I think it looks lovely on here. Uh, I never said the price. I'm pretty sure it's $325 for this. I'm sure that's the price. Uh, I'm not sure if Yosef has still got them in stock just now. He may be getting more in, uh, but obviously you can go along to the, the Vape Monster uh, Facebook group and have a look there if you want. But uh, we're all polished up now. Yes, we are. It's all looking pretty, pretty. But right, back up top, I'll let you know how I've been getting on. Now, as always with these things, I'm going to give you my opinion on this device. First thing though, once again, I want to say a huge thank you to Yosef at SteamSpot for sending this on. This was a gift from a mate. He never asked me to review it or do anything about it. Even though he's selling them, um, he just sent it on, which was greatly appreciated. So there's that part of it. The next part of it is going to be my opinion on this device and how I feel about it. If you have one, if you're a fan of the modern and all that jazz and whatnot, I, I am seriously chuffed for you and I'm glad you found something that you really like. What I'm going to say now is just my opinion on it. So bear that in mind. There's no taking away from the fact this is a, I, I think this is a looker. Um, primarily for me, I would put this into the category of tabletop mod. Um, mainly because whilst round here is comfortable, in the hand, all around here is comfortable, smooth edges, rounded. Um, the corners, the corners are not comfortable. If you, if I'm holding this in my hand, I do not find this a comfortable mod to hold on to because of the. Even though the corners are rounded, it's just 
you've got hard edges there and it, it just doesn't for me feel comfortable that's it i'm just just gotta be honest uh when i'm vaping with it i do hold it like this and The door, however, when I'm holding it like this, is it's a uh, it's I can't help it. The, the the doors, it's a mover, it's a slider, it's I I I know that the magnets are a certain size because of the design of the mod, but I personally feel that they need to be stronger too because that I mean I can it just they're not strong enough in my opinion and it just makes it more of a fidget toy in that respect um it is usb uh two amp usb c and i have used it as a pass through uh, you can vape and charge at the same time i don't know if you should be but i have been uh, and that's another thing that makes me think it's more of a tabletop kind of device um the board plain and simple it's just wattage i wish i knew what the voltage output was um with mouth to lung builds obviously it's 40 watt uh, I, I can't find the voltage specs anywhere but it does say 0 0.2 ohm is the lowest resistance you'll go and 3 ohm uh, is as high as you go uh, so um yes depending on your build and uh, it should have enough power to suit everybody and once again remember this is not a cloudy one this uh, the amount of airflow that this restricts is insane restricted direct lung put the door back on that, that closes it right down i think they're like three 1.2 1.5 maybe uh, but there are small air holes there the way this is put together, I really, really like. I really like, I, this is the thing. I know at the start of this, it sounds like I'm having a downer in this device. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, I just, for me, it's just not a an everyday carry mod. Um, even though, aesthetically, I think it's bloody gorgeous. And I love the way it's screwed together. Uh, I'm not sure about the off-center button and screen. I don't know entirely how I feel about that, but it's it's bloody weird. It's just out there. It's just off the charts. And because I'm just a strange man in a shed, part of that really appeals to me, the fact that it is different and nuts and, and everything. Once again, I'm sorry if you think it sounds like I'm having a downer on it. There are many, many things that I do like about this device, but there's certain things that make it just not right for me as a, a mod I would take out and about. Um, the main one really being the door and the, net, the other one being the corners as well. Um, I would like to see another door with more air holes in it or more airflow or just a, a solid slot. But I understand why he's gone for that restriction to make it more of appeal more to mouth to lung users, in my opinion. Um, that's it. I love the engraving on the bottom, the, the etch on the bottom there. It's just really, it's very, very pretty. The presentation is next level. It's, it's all done so, so well. It's just maybe not for me, this one. Um, but thank you to Yosef once again. Yeah, you're a good man. Cheers, buddy. Uh, thank you to you for watching. Please go and watch other reviews, read customer feedback and see what real people are saying. Don't just go off my opinion. But until next time, bye for now.